Hey everyone, and if you're here, we're going to go over a brief walkthrough of Final Fantasy VII, the remake demo, on top of a quick review of what I like to think of what I've played for at least four times running through it and being the demo. It's available now for you to download if you haven't already. I have a tutorial that you can easily access. Uh, but at this point in time, my name is Matt here at the MacGyver 7th channel, and we're going to be covering a lot of cool gaming news surrounding inside of this excitement. It's very hot inside of the situation of what we've gotten into. So let's go ahead and peer a little bit at the gameplay. With looking at how some of the gameplay plays with me, looking at the situation of graphics, it comes in pretty hard for as far as looking beautiful. And they definitely do have some room to kind of polish up when you look at hair textures. It's like Cloud kind of jumps over there. They'll see that it looks okay, but it is kind of really soft blurry. And I feel like that they can make a lot more contexture points as well as some of the frame rate shutters that occur during like the, the turning points of moving around there. There are minute bugs that I ran into when playing Barrett later on when it opens up and that you see that he kind of gets locked up sometime in gameplay. You can switch between there, but the mechanics are very beautiful. That's one thing that I would like to think that they put a lot of good time into digesting what was going on but they did an amazing job with giving you a lot of different settings normal is going to be kind of like the hardest setting easy is easy but kind of interesting um and then i played the classic which i felt like was the easiest out of all of them and i was able to beat the demo which i think was rated at three hours in the first try on normal and under an hour the second try on classic and roughly about 26 minutes and then roughly on easy was I don't know oddly enough it felt like it was like 33 minutes felt like it was a little bit like different um, some of the characters that felt like more agile um, which was maybe something that they didn't have tuned but you can kind of see there right there with the the way it zooms in towards the hair white I mean towards the actual contextures um, but with the game being roughly right around almost about a month away it seems like a lot of what they're trying to push right now is the game itself and it looks really good. And let's go ahead and take a look at some other cutscenes. You can see it opens up to a situation where Barrett himself looks very well designed as a character. One of the things that I do have to mention as it skips along inside of there and catches up with the 4K play of recording this is that they, I kind of feel personally myself, Barrett's character is very well rounded, but I feel like their character is very, not too much, but over the top a tiny bit too much. I feel like he's kind of like Tropic Thunder, like almost like very Ben Stiller-esque humor, almost tiny bit like, uh, you know, but this is more serious and to the point as you can kind of see where we have the gameplay, but it looks beautiful and like they went through a whole phase. Basically what they ended up doing was they had one staffing built on the mechanics and a lot of people were kind of trashing it for being episodic at the time and for people not really wanting a situation that differed from a different mechanics because so many people have gotten down to the classic JRPGs as well as the mechanical point of what we've all come down to with Final Fantasies. But they open up sometimes when you're like a lead character with Vaughn and his crew as well as in the more later installments that they've kind of played around with an open mechanics, uh, which I think works really well with this one. The well that I was able to be basically balance even inside of a boss fight it was able to really let me digest how well you can switch between characters, uh, you can utilize the, your limit breaks, you can go to your specials, you can be on the defense. Um, it's, it's just insanely well thought out. And I feel like this game, again, is going to shatter records for as far as for what they're trying to push in the standards of gaming yet again, because the original Final Fantasy back in 1997 when it first released was one of these groundbreaking individual games that was just ahead of its time because instead of utilizing the regular pixel art that they had favored at the time and you know was completely outside the standard of what the PlayStation was and how they did it was they just hired a great team of artists that just drew out every single scene so when they were like panoramically moving across this like a very cool map it was like more given down to the point because it was so drawn out so well, literally speaking. So the original game is so good. And now to see them coming into a just an intro where you can play this game, you can download it now for seven gigabytes on the PlayStation Network. It's definitely worth your time. I would like to say for an hour to hear what the community has to say for as far as the situation 
Um, you know, I would say this is worth your time, but definitely hit a rhyme of a comment down below. I'm going to leave that up as my review. I think it's worth it. It's getting me excited towards the Final Fantasy release date, but I'm really curious to hear what the community of people have out there to say about what they think about it. Uh, what does this demo mean to you? And if so, leave a comment down below. And you can subscribe today. I would like to think that if you've made it this far, you can always slam that Liberty Bell along with it too as well. You get all the nice tech-related information, especially when this game goes live. I should be having a fun time for as far as like, doing this day one as it goes. And we can go to the open world, which I was hoping we would get to. But you can see this really cool boss fight, which actually comes into gameplay. It was really fun being able to switch between the characters. And like it was just so cool at that point in time where they made the graphics and they made it really interactive. But have a nice day, everyone. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe this game, yet again, will set a new standard for the way the games will operate in the next few years to come on the next platform. So, anyways, everyone, have a nice one. And I'll see you guys and guys in the near future for more game, tech, and fun time related situations.